everyone! Welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a little bit more Ritual de Fee, and today I'm going to be reviewing and swatching their Inner Glow Cream pigments. So if you don't know anything about these, they do look a little something like this. They come in this really beautiful, relatively flat um, compact. Um, the shade name will be on the opposite side for you. When you open it up, we do get a really nice small mirror. It is pretty small but nice for touching it up if you do choose to take this with you on the go. And then you get a really nice um, large pan of product here that does have 3.8 grams, which is a lot, especially for a cream item. So the purpose of these, they do retail for $29 each, is that they're just cream pigments that can be used on the cheeks, lips, and the eyes. So they are really meant to mix, use with different products, and play with. And um, I think these are a lot of fun. They come in very, very unique shades. There are seven shades I'm gonna be sharing with you today. What I like about the texture of them a lot is that they're relatively hard in the pan, so it almost seems like they're gonna be very waxy, but with the warmth of your finger, they heat, they warm right up really nice and creamy but they have um it's a more matte powdery texture but they don't um it's not like they're so stiff that they don't blend so they deposit a lot of color because of that they are still relatively easy to blend and also have a nice thin texture that i think really lends itself to be used on all these different areas of the face which i love so formulation wise um, I think that they're really cool. They do definitely function very well for all three of the purposes that they are intended for. In my next video, I am going to be sitting down and applying these in a multitude of different ways. So I wanna do a contour, a blush, I wanna do something on my eyes, and then of course a lip look. Today I do just have it on my lips because I filmed a tutorial just before this using some Cure Weiss products, but my next video, like I said, I will be showing you exactly the potential of these items because I think the colors can be a little tricky but once you really get them down um, the versatility of them I think is fantastic especially if you're a makeup artist or you're just someone who likes to have fun with your makeup versatile products are always always great especially I think a lot of items claim to have that multi-function and they you really prefer them for like one area these really do perform well on all three intended places which I love wear times really beautiful on these items because they do have that more thin texture and that applies for the cheeks eyes and the lips as well because it's not um terribly emollient, but at the same time, I really don't think it's emphasizing a lot of the fine lines and wrinkles in my lips. It is more of this really soft powder rather than like this really dry, hard matte, like something like a MAC lipstick. Those can really emphasize the lip texture, but this does not do that at all. There are two shades in here that have more of a shimmery finish. Uh, majority of them are matte, but I will point that out for you as I sort of dive in and swatch these shades. So I'm gonna quit talking. We are gonna get right into um, the swatching um, and in my next video they do recommend mixing these with their eye soots They recommend you mixing them with their lip shears It really is just this sort of alchemy and playing with the items And I think that they have such a great line that I'm really excited to show you Just the versatility of these products because at first I was kind of stumped on them And then I really learned to like them a lot So let's just get right into these seven shades First up is the shade Rapture that I've been holding up for you the whole time. This one I think is probably my favorite as far as using it all over. I think it is just the most beautiful blush shade. It is this really nice matte um, light pink. It does have that more baby doll look where it's very brightening on the on the cheeks. It's very much a cool tone color. And then I, I usually use this color to mix on the lips because it's a little bit lighter than something I would traditionally go for. But it really will give you that rosy, dolly look on the cheeks that I think is absolutely beautiful. And I do love pink eyeshadow. And this is a very, very unique shade. You don't really see anything like this. So this is a lot of fun. Next up, we have the shade Desire. And Desire is a really interesting shade. This is, again, one of the matte formulas. It is a beautiful purpley mauve. So it's not at all brown, really. It just pulls very purple. In fact, I haven't ever done both of these on my eyes, but the two of these look really nice together. I even think this would look like a very beautiful, warmer contour um, on someone with a very, very light complexion. I think that could actually read really nicely on the skin. Or if you like a more plummy toned blush, that could be a nice blush option as well. But my favorite for this would probably be on the eyes, just that tone that I think is really pretty. 
Next up, we have the shade Lovesick. And Lovesick um, in the pan looks very similar to the one that I just shared with you. It is, again, a matte finish. But this one has a lot more rose to it. So this one's going to be a little bit more like a traditional plummy blush on the cheeks. It has a little bit less brown. So something like this I wouldn't really use to contour. But on the cheeks and eyes, this would be really, really pretty as a blush as well as a lip color. I do have a touch of this pressed into the shade Lust just to brighten it up a little bit. Next up, we have the shade Eros, and Eros is probably the one that I'm going to use for contour in the videos because it's just a true rich brown, but what's nice about it is that it does have a little bit of warmth to it as well, and that's something that I actually like in my contours and bronzers, um, but it still will definitely give you that shadowy look because the base of this color is totally brown, and again, I don't really like brown on my lips unless I lighten it up with something else, which again, they encourage. Um, but I think on the eyes, this would be the perfect throw it in the crease, one and done eyeshadow look. This one's really, really cool and different. Then we have the shade Delirium. I really enjoy this shade actually, because it's a nice, warm, punchy color. You know, that's what I like. This one is one that they claim to have more of a shimmery finish. I don't really think it comes across that way on the skin if I'm honest with you, but it's a really beautiful warm orangey red. If you have a deep complexion, this would be the most amazing blush on you because the pigment on these is really gorgeous and um, they're very, very buildable, which I love. You can really make them very intense should you choose to do that. Then we have the shade Frenzy. Frenzy is another one of the more shimmery options, it says, which when you look at it in the pan, you can kind of tell, but once it's on the skin, not so much. Um, but Frenzy is a beautiful brown-toned berry. So again, on a deep complexion, I think that this would just look amazing. It would be quite a bold lip on myself, but that's a really cool option as well. And then I think this would look really great on the eyes because they have... It's not a powdery finish. I don't really even know how to describe it to you guys. It's just thin and it blends just to perfection but does not disappear. I don't like when things overly blend out and you have to keep going back and forth and back and forth. This will just not like provide those really harsh, harsh edges. Like have you ever used a cream product where you can almost see exactly where you initially applied it because the color is so concentrated there? You won't have that with these, which is cool. Finally is the shade Lust. Lust is the shade that I have on my lips here today. Lust is that total Kylie Jenner sort of color. So it is a little bit brown, a little bit mauve, a little bit purple, but really when you put it on the lips, it's gorgeous. A lot of these tones do have some sort of warmth pulling through them, honestly. Um, I think that gives them the most versatility, especially if you want to use it like a blush as opposed to a contour or something like that. But this is another one that I think would just look great on the eyes, especially layered with some of the Ash and Ember eye soots, or even alone with one of the Celestial eye soots on top. I think it would look gorgeous. Really, really cool. All right, everyone. So that is it. Those are my swatches of the Ritual Defi um, Inner Light Cream Pigments. I'm sorry, Inner Glow Cream Pigments. Um, just a product that I think can be very intimidating, especially when you're just looking at them on the website. Um, when I swatch them for you, I will kind of l like layer them up and show you how nicely they blend out. But they sit so nicely on the skin. They're really comfortable to wear on the lips. And in my next video, I will be showing you just exactly how versatile these products are. Some brushes that I like to use. Use, but I do predominantly like to use my fingers and um, a sponge with this product just because I think that most evenly disperses any sort of cream items. Um, anyways, um, I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. I think I've reviewed everything from Ritual Defi besides their luminizers now. So if you would like to see that video, definitely let me know and I can bring that to you. I will include my other Ritual Defi reviews down below so you can check them out. But in the meantime, do please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I do upload videos here twice weekly and I do not want you all to miss them. Down below and on the end card of this video, I will also include all of our social media so you can keep up with us when I am not posting here on the channel so you can stay in the loop with what's going on, all things Integrity Botanicals. But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for the love and support. Let me know what your favorite shade is, anything that you definitely like to see me use in the next video let me know and thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next one bye